My name's Rick Mobbs from Buxton Mountain Rescue Team. The title of this video is What's in My Rucksack? So this is my personal rucksack, which I take on the hill uh, when I go walking, typically with my wife. Uh, it's suitable for uh, three seasons of, of the year, uh, but not winter. Uh, so it's what I take in uh, uh, the, the summer, the autumn and the spring. Uh, includes all the items necessary for a 10 to 15 mile uh, walk uh, in somewhere like Kinder, uh, so fairly remote. So let's get into the video. This is a mountain equipment, Tupelac 45. 45 litres, bigger than maybe most people would have for a day sack, uh, but I usually take a little bit more extra stuff. So this is why I recommend that people would take on the hill if they're going, uh, going for an all day trip 10 to 15 miles on Kinder, say in the Peak District, something like that, fairly remote, and you need to be self-sustainable. So what's in the rucksack? Mobile phone, which would typically be on me, actually. On that, I have a View Ranger, uh, which is a mapping system, uh, but I also have a paper map as well. I have a GPS. This is a sat map. 12. Uh, it um, has a map on it as well, so two, map, two electronic mapping systems, which are great as long as the batteries work. Take some spare batteries as well. The Mountain Rescue Team uh, Buff, which you can get on our website if you go there. Sunglasses. Compass. That, together with a map and the knowledge of how to use it, is essential. I have a pocket knife. And I have a bunch of these uh, gloves. Um, occasionally we come across uh, casualties. I have had been on a walk and had to deal with a casualty situation on a walk. I have a notebook and some spare batteries. That all that lot lives in the top of the sack. In the main compartment, I have a sun hat. I have a warm hat. I have a spare pair of gloves. And a mountain equipment Gore-Tex waterproof jacket windproof, which includes my whistle. So whistle's useful for uh, calling attention uh, if you need some help. I have a paper map. So as well as two electronic maps and spare batteries, I have a uh, paper map. These maps are um, got plastic covered over them so they're waterproof. Then my lunch. Take some food and my lunch on the hill in a lunch box. If space is tight in here, I will actually uh, swap the box for um, uh, a small bag. I have tea in a flask on the hill, even in the summer when it's hot. Tea quenches thirst and uh, I find it quite refreshing. A pair of gloves. Even in the summer, I will take a pair of gloves on the hill. I have a head torch in a bag with some spare batteries. The spare batteries will double up for the uh, sat map as well. I take some spare water. Buxton Spring. I have some walking poles. These are Lecky ultra lightweight carbon fiber, fantastic pair of poles. waterproof trousers. If the weather forecast is totally fantastic and I can guarantee it's not going to rain, I might leave those at home. But I will always take this, which is my mountain equipment Fitzroy jacket. These are standard issue uh, to the rescue team uh, and they were so good that I actually bought one for me. Um, and this uh, shakes out. This keeps you warm in winter. Uh, but also in the summer. Um, we have come across casualties that have been sat broken leg in the summer uh, and with hypothermia, you know, so the ability to deal with that is really quite helpful. 
Then further on, a first aid kit. Uh, this is a big one, a bit chunky, quite a few bits and pieces in here. Uh, and that's because I have some additional um, medical training, which enables me to do a little bit more. Uh, and so I carry a slightly bigger kit. But a first aid kit would be considered essential. I have a shelter. This is an outdoor designs, uh, six person shelter. Um, so this is like a fly sheet from a tent. Uh, you put it over you and it protects you from the elements um, and keeps you warm and dry. And this is a lifesaver. If there's one thing, there's a walker or a rambler in the hills you wanna take is one of these. In these times with uh, COVID-19, um, uh, getting in one of these is with uh, people that you don't know or uh, not on the family householding members. Uh, you uh, want to possibly review that, but in normal times, this is absolutely a lifesaver. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, can you please like it below uh, and uh, subscribe to our channel um, and uh, visit our, uh, our website and uh, various social media channels, the details of which are below.